Hi Virgos, welcome to your monthly reading. Alright, let's see what's in store for you guys for the next month or so. Um, please spirit guys, let us know what are the most important messages for my Virgos. We have family right off the bat, so you might be um, dealing with some family issues at this time. Okay, what else for my Virgos? What else for my Virgos? We have, okay, obstacles. Um, maybe dealing with some challenges right now. Could be like karmic. Maybe you guys are dealing with some karma right now. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like when I'm when I have to deal with my karma, I'm always like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> um, but sometimes it can be like you know, generational, we have the family card, but it can also be like, you know, from previous lifetimes that you're dealing with, you're, you're facing it this life, so that's why you feel like you didn't do anything to like bring this upon yourself, but now you're having to deal with it. Um, so it can feel unfair sometimes, even though we always go through what we need to. Um, to learn to grow so try to see the the message in it the lesson try not to get hung up on like anger why is this happening because that's just going to make it last longer it's not going to help you get through it like faster the more you understand it the more you um, the faster you'll get through it which who doesn't want to get through it faster right Okay, especially Virgos, like, I feel like you guys can be so hard on yourselves. So learning those lessons can become even harder because it's like you need to, in order to get through those lessons, like, you have to forgive yourself. You have to love yourself. Like, just remember, have a lot of compassion. Don't criticize yourself because you guys are the sign of, like, being critical so just go easy on yourselves okay we have dating queen well that's fun at least there's some good things going on <laughs> so maybe you're going to be getting back out there in the dating scene um we have gifts too so maybe someone's going to be bringing you a gift okay so that's fun at least it's not just dealing with karma no, <laughs> or family issues. Okay, so what are the romance angels for my Virgos? Oh, we got one right away. What is it? Okay, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? I feel like this is relating to the family card. So, I don't know what's going on for you guys, but if someone's trying to make you feel like, I don't know, they're trying to be controlling or something like that, just um, remember that, like, you hold the power. Like, you don't have to listen to anybody else or, you know, telling you what to do or whatever. Uh, we have reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning. Oh, I got that in the last reading too. Well, so yeah, I feel like someone is still interested in you. Or maybe um, since we have this dating card, like maybe as you get yourself back out there in the dating game, like someone from your past is going to come back in and want to reunite. Um, we have passion. So... Maybe they have some very passionate feelings for you. They want to have some passion with you. No. <laughs> okay. So, it is safe for you to love. Um, 
Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Love is the highest vibe. Period. Like, there's nothing that beats love, okay? <laughs> um, release your ex, okay? So maybe you don't want to get back with this person that's coming in from the past. Um, trying to reconcile, like, maybe you're like, no, I'm good. I'm trying to get back out there, okay? The free yourself might not just mean for your family, but also with this ex, this past person, like, Maybe you just want to get away from them. Wow, we have wedding at the bottom of the deck, so. Um, I don't know, maybe this person from the past wants to marry you. No. <laughs> they want to put a ring on it so you don't go anywhere and date someone new. All right, so let's see what comes up for you guys in the tarot cards. This is for Virgo, please. Spirit guides, thank you so much for your guidance. This is for my Virgos. <laughs> what are the most important messages that they need to hear for this situation? What are the most important messages my Virgos need to hear? My goodness what that's crazy okay I'm not taking these on the floor that was an accident I dropped these but you guys had a lot of cards come out these this is a lot like so you could be dealing with a fire sign okay because um, we have the king of wands but someone is in love here we got the ace of cups they want a new start with you in love. They want to get back with you. You guys may have had some harsh words in the past, some conflict. This can be arguments, fighting. Um, that's the Five of Swords, okay? We have the World's card, so this might be why it ended. Um, but it looks like they want to come back and put that behind you and move on and start a new chapter with you. They want to put the work in this time for the Three of Pentacles, okay? What else? Jeez, you guys got cards uh, popping out all over the place. So you could be dealing with the Cancer. We have the Chariot here. This could mean that this person is at a distance from you. Um, it doesn't have to be physically. It could be like spiritually or even emotionally. They could be emotionally distant. Yeah. Um, that could have been one of the issues in the past. Like why you guys didn't work out. They were emotionally distant. Okay. And they're trying to say that they're going to come back in and, like, things are going to be different, but I don't know. We did have, like, the release your ex card, so I feel like that's a hint from spirit. Like, I don't know. You Like, be careful about going back because you don't want to end up in the same cycle, right? Like, the world's card. I mean, this is endings or no beginnings, but I just see... I just noticed this circle, it's like a cycle, you know? If it keeps repeating itself, and it's next to this, like, five of swords. So maybe if you got back with them, that same energy would come up. Like, the harsh words, the arguments, all that. Maybe it would start right, right back up again. So, I don't know. But, geez, like, someone doesn't want to let you go with that four of pentacles. This can be, like, greedy energy. They're like... No, I'm going to keep you all to myself. I don't really like that energy. Yeah, it's coming up right on top of the release your ex. Look how funny that is. <laughs> and they're like holding on like for dear life. Like, no, I will not let you go. Okay. So we have the king of pentacles. So this is earth. You guys are earth. So you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign. So that would be um, another Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn. Um, but if not, like, it could be someone new that you're going to meet. Um, 
could be you focused like on your work you're like I don't really care about love right now I'm just focused on my coins you know um, it could be this person also from the past who's trying to come back in and they're trying to use that as a way to get you back like they're like oh I, look at me like I've been working so hard and it's like yeah that's money wise that doesn't really change who you are or like how much you've grown as a person like that doesn't matter if you're still gonna treat me the same you know so the tower card this can mean in love like a breakup or separation it can also be something shocking or something surprising and I feel like and then we have the Ten of Cups. So, I feel like you guys are going to choose your happiness. You're not going to let anyone get in the way of that. So, it really doesn't matter. Like, this person can try to come back all they want. Um, I feel like you guys don't really care if you don't want to be with this person anymore. You're not going to let them back. You're going to choose what's best for you, what's healthiest for you. Because you reach that point within yourself where... You know who you are, you know what you want, and you're not going to settle for less. So, that's really good. Um, okay, let's pull some charms. Aw, we have love. So, true love starts with loving yourself, like how we were just talking about. And that's how you don't let anybody treat you like this. Wow, I knew we were going to get a bird or a feather because we had free yourself earlier. And then I got this, I got this bird. I just think that's so cool. Yeah, you guys are not letting anything get in your way, get you down. You're doing good. Okay. Okay, I feel like there's someone new or a new commitment coming in, okay? Because we have a ring, and then we have um, the infinite symbol. And then we had marriage, right? Or wedding? Wow. So you guys might be getting um, a new commitment come in that's going to be stable, going to be long-term, going to be forever. Someone who can um, commit to you. Okay, so that could be that King of Pentacles actually because his energy is very like um, committal, like he's grounded, stable. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.